Hello brothers and welcome back to another video. So I have been absolutely bombarded with this article. I've seen the article, but I just didn't want to make a video on it at this moment in time because Adepticon is just so far away. So I thought, you know, I'll just leave this closer to the actual event. It's, it's happening on Wednesday the 25th of March. We're not even in bloody February yet. I know we're in February tomorrow. Well, if you're watching this today, then I'm recording this on the 31st, and we will be in February tomorrow. But, you know, it's still, like, two months off, but people are like, hey, Farrah, have you seen this? It's got to be massive. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through this entire post, and I'm going to go down the rabbit hole. I am. I'm, I'm just going to lose myself predictions some things that have been mentioned in the past you know talk about what could potentially happen for different factions where the story could go so brace yourself brothers because it's about to get absolutely theoretical right so this article states um, adepticon it's the biggest warhammer preview ever i'm sure they said that about lvo maybe i got this and lvo mixed up i'm sure they said lvo was going to be like the biggest preview ever and it was well it was big but it wasn't really that big but anyway this one it says five things you need to know about the warhammer preview and it says number one it's the biggest warhammer preview ever Ever. It's got every capitals ever. Um, more of you will be able to attend this Warhammer preview than ever before. But that's not half of it. We have so much cool stuff to show off for you in this preview. It's going to blow, full stop, your full stop mind. Okay, so they, they are really, really hyping this bad boy up, aren't they? You know, they're, 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 they're really pushing this um, upon us. Number two says, so... Full stop, much, full stop, stuff. <laughs> There's a lot of full stops in this bloody article. There is so, and so is in capitals. They are really, they are really going for it. There is so much new, shiny, exciting to cram into this preview that you'll reckon you'll have two hours worth of news coming at you. That's good for me, because that means I can just sit here and lose my mind for like hours upon hours. You might want to take notes so you remember it all at the end and bring snacks. Holy crap, what? Are they saying they're really going to do a two-hour Warhammer preview? Holy Emperor. Because I've been to one before. They, they, they normally last like 15, 20 minutes, you know, with the preview. And the rest of it is just people asking questions like, hey, when's the next Primark coming back? It's usually me <laughs> in the back just shouting it. Um, number three, it says, it's for every Warhammer fan. The seminar will include some big news for Warhammer Age of Sigma, 40k. There'll also be news from Warhammer games, including Warhammer Quest Blackstone Fortress and Warcry. Yeah, too expected, you know, um, um, all these um, um, board games and stuff like that. Hopefully Aeronautica, Titanicus, you know, um, Necromunda, they'll be all there as well. Um, number four, it goes beyond tabletop. Ooh, this Warhammer preview will include um, a look at some of the exciting ways you'll be seeing Warhammer on your screen soon. Oh boy. In fact, you'll be the first people in the world outside of the creators to see some of this. Nice. Number five, it's free. But you need a ticket, of course. So is it technically free? Well, is is it free to get an Adepticon? I've never known. I've never been to Adepticon. Admittance to the preview is already covered by your Adepticon ticket. Okay, so yeah, you need an Adepticon ticket. Um, you won't have to pay anything extra. You, however, need to guarantee to get your place registering. Spaces are limited, and most of them have already gone. So make sure you order your Warmer preview ticket through your Adepticon cart. Okay, there we go. So that is the article. Wednesday, the 25th of March, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. is when it's all about to go down. Okay, let's start going down this good old rabbit hole as we always do in this channel. Let's just lose ourselves in the madness. So the biggest thing is, of course, the biggest Warhammer preview ever. So there's going to be a ton of things to show off. Of course, Age of Sigma is probably going to take up a chunk of it. Um, I know I normally cover Warhammer 40k in this channel, and I will continue to do so until Bretonians are pretty released in Age of Sigma, but I'm not really counting um, on that day coming anytime soon. And don't say to me they're them bloody vampire things. They're not. How dare you? Um, so with the biggest Warhammer 40,000 uh, preview ever, what could potentially be on the cards? I think this is where they're going to talk about the next edition of Warhammer 40,000. I know we've spoken about like 9th edition, people are saying 8.5, whatever you want to bloody call it. I think this is going to be the event where it gets revealed and we get to see the first look. People can put their hands up and start maybe asking questions to get some information like, is it going to be a complete brand new system? Hopefully not, because I really do enjoy what they've done with 8th edition. I've said this so many times before, that 8th edition 
is an amazing game. It does have its problems, yes. I completely hold my hands up, it does have its problems, but hopefully the next edition will keep the core basic of the rules there and f address and fix those problems. We've kind of seen it already in some of the newer codexes or codexes, however you want to pronounce it, where um, uh, soup is more or less been chucked out the window because, you know, you have doctrines and stuff like that to encourage people to step away from that dirty, dirty, dirty mixture of just OP stuff. So I can kind of see the direction they're going in. Hopefully, they'll add you know more stuff to that to fix some areas which really need it. My biggest concern in 8th edition at the moment is first turn playing. First turn playing can be absolutely devastating because the amount of firepower that you can have in your arsenals at the moment, you can just wipe out your enemies like big guns and and it's just plain sailing from then on and it's you know it's more or less your game and of course we are coming to the end of the psychic awakening now so we really need the next big thing to keep us entertained let's say when it comes to 40k yes the psychic awakening has been fun and you can definitely argue that the stories and the narrative has, have been highly meh um yes I, I i will agree with you that some of the stories have just not done anything it's just stalemates all over the galaxy um i know gw don't really like to pick winners but come on gw just just let's someone win at the end of it. i don't care i don't care if chaos wins just you know it, it gives me more of an incentive then to to gear up and start purging chaos you know or you know a, and a xenos race you know let the orcs take over a big chunk of the galaxy or something just just something so you know big and devastating that you know it, it, it kicks us into gear and you know it, it turns our dial up to 11 when it comes to purge um, so I personally think the next big stage of the story is going to be um, another Primark coming back. <laughs> you would have guessed it, Varek? Saying a Primark's coming back? Man, this is something new. Yes, it, it, it has to be. It has to be, ladies and gentlemen. We, it, it's been too long since we've had a Primark um, um, released on the tabletop. We've had uh, Magnus, Mortarian, and Rebute. Of course, they all launched with the 8th edition, and this is what I'm I'm, I'm trying to anchor it to um, with the new edition. I think every new edition will see a major big character return in the form of like a Primark um, to the tabletop. And and I think if they do announce that 9th edition at this um, preview, um, I definitely think we'll, we will get a Primark... Um, to um, follow it uh, again, it's pe people always ask me what Primark do you think they could literally go any direction. Really, they they can. Of course, they can't. You know, do Sanguinius or Ferris or Horus. Well, technically, you can do Horus if you want to clone him again. But you know, that's another story for another time. I clone Primarchs, really Primarchs again. Another story for another time. Um, but you know, you know, you talk about Vulcan, you talk about the Lion, um, uh, you're talking about a Jagatai Khan and um, Fulgrim, Snake Boy Fulgrim, um, Lorgar has been hinted at. You know, there's, 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 there's been so many hints um, in the stories, and especially so in the Psychic Awakening. Psychic Awakening really hints at um, Fulgrim more than anything else. Um, so if they do decide to bring one back, um, I think they've personally already you know, set the foundation. It's just between those fans who we think should deserve to come back. I know in my position, I think we should have a Loyalist Primark back, because Rebute at the moment, there's so many, you know, uh, demonic, well, I say there's so many demonic Primarchs, we only have Magnus on Mortarian, but there's so much stuff going on with Rebute and, you know, him trying to handle, like, the Faith, and of course, Mortarian he's fighting in the Plague Wars. I think it'd be really, really cool for another brother to come back, and Re Rebute says, hey, yo, I love you, yo, let's do this together, and he just sends him off you know, maybe like in the in the northern bits um, of 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 the Great Rift, and he's just there, just you know, he's just crusading while Gilliman's in the southern bit, you know, controlling that bit. I I personally think that'd be most welcomed by a lot of people. But again, whoever it is, um, it's just going to be an argument among ourselves. Of course, I want it to be Rogel Dawn because Rogel Dawn is the best Primarch that has ever lived. And on the subject of new stuff, of course, new miniatures. It's always about the new miniatures. We've had so many rumors. When I got told that Ninth Edition is going to be coming out in this summer, the rumor I got along with that from the source. Um, who I, I actually do trust because he told me about um, um, the uh, Imperial Fist Codex before anyone else. He did. But, of course, I couldn't trust him at the time because he was new sending me information. So I didn't want to start making stuff from someone who, of course, has never sent me stuff in the past. But since you know he gave me that information, I actually trust him um, with, with, with this. And he said um, Necrons and Space Marines are going to be the box set that coming along with 9th edition and um, i've made a video about this before i would I'd, I'd absolutely love that necrons get new models space marines to get new models i know people are going to say oh imperium again why is it always imperium it's simple it's simple 
Imperium cells. It's as simple as that. It's it, it it really is as played as I can make it. Space Marines are their best selling armor, hands down. So they're always going to link them up with a Xenos race or a heretic race and stuff like that. You may you you know you may dislike it, but at the end of the day, GW is a business and they're there to do one thing, and that is to make money. And they make money of Space Marines. And let's not forget the greatest slash worst leak that we've ever witnessed. <laughs> well, what well, well, I've ever witnessed anyway. Miss the blurry picture. It's in the background now. If you've forgotten about it, you should have forgotten about it because it's absolutely amazing. Of course, GW has still not come out and, you know, said anything about this image. People still to this day saying, hey, Varak, do you think this is real? Damn right, I think it's real. Even because GW it completely ignores it, makes it more real. Even when I mentioned it at the New Year's Open Day to, like, some of the designers behind the desk and they just laughed to themselves this for me is like a huge conspiracy like something is going down and it is surrounding this blurry image if you just look at it you know people have said you know primaris land speeder primaris bikers people say you know there's there's, there's like other things they spotted there's like a dark thing some i've heard some say it's definitely the lionel johnson because he's got like darkish armor i know i don't see any of that at all I, of course i see the, like the, the land speeder and um what forms as like bikers or something like that but um i don't see any prime marks in that image so i definitely think that this image is on the cards well hopefully at adepticon but I, I i really do think it's real I, I really do think it's real and um i think that we had it so in advance of like all these big events like the new year's open day lvo um hopefully not adepticon because i want adepticon to reveal it i think it even makes it even more hilarious i really really do that this is like the peak when it comes to leaks i, I think there's only one leak that tops this one and that is when Magnus uh, the Red got leaked out as a returning Primark, the first returning Primark. Was it even a first or was it Rebooted Gilliman? I know, I think it was Magnus because um, someone threw his box out in the bins and apparently um, one of the bin men who were emptying the bins was a Warhammer fan. And when he was emptying the bins, the box of Magnus the Red fell at his feet and he just posted it online. I think I think that tops the, the one of the greatest leaks that has ever happened at GW. But this one comes to a close second. And another big thing they talk about in here, of course, it goes beyond the tabletop this warhammer preview will include a look at some exciting ways you'll be seeing warhammer on your uh, on your screen so of course i think i think one of the biggest things in that is that maybe that this preview you'll get to watch episode one of angels um of blood is that what it's called angels of blood yes that's what it's called angels of blood and um, the, um the, the new gw show that we've seen terminators blood angels all the kind of dacker and all that kind of stuff in there um i i definitely think that's going to be shown off and um, episode one if not then like at, at least a full trailer but i also think they're going to be showing off some of the new stuff they've got uh well, well they've been planning as well remember when they mentioned the anthology show a couple of weeks ago um i think we've actually seen a little preview of it as well Do you know like some of the 2d art that, that trailer they posted you know um uh, at christmas time and um, a lot of people saying oh let's tell us and you know that kind of stuff maybe that is what they're going to be doing someone mentioned to me there's a show on netflix called bad robot or something and i actually watched a couple of it the other day and i actually think that's what it's going to do it's like different sci-fi stuff under one show name which is really really awesome so um yeah I, I definitely think that's what they're going to be doing 40k just be showing off you know different different places of the universe different creeds different religions different ways of warfare different types of xenos races and um, the imperium chaos you know all, all the heresy that goes along with it i definitely think that's what the anthology show is going to be packed off so it brings in a broader type of fan to it of course we as fans know know it all but, of course, what they want is to bring new people into the hobby. And an anthology show is probably the best way to do that because it shows off the different aspects of 40k rather than staying with one story that was to show off one type of aspect of that genre and just to finish off i know they did mention that it's for every warhammer 45 age of sigma warhammer blackstone fortress war cry and stuff i really really hope that Depticon is where they announce a new tabletop game and the tabletop game i want them to announce is battlefleet gothic um i never got to play battlefleet gothic um you know when it was out and stuff i know you can you can scrape it together now and stuff but it'd be easier for them just to make you know a brand new starter set you know game and really get people into it and um, i love void combat i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm an imperial fist of course i love Avoid, avoid warfare it's where we are bred it's it's where we purge um the 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 enemies of mankind this is this is our speciality that and making iron warriors cry but you know that's another story for another day i've got so many stories of making those boys cry um but yes and um, battlefleet gothic that is something that i would absolutely love 
to be announced at this event. I think it would be amazing. I'd want it all. I'd, I'd buy the starter set. I'd, 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 I'd just do it. I have an, an awesome Space Marine fleet of my Imperial Fist. Actually, I probably won't even do Imperial Fist. I know that's uh, kind of heresy. I'd probably do something like Black Templars or something. Um, just, you know, have a, a fleet of Black Templar ships. You know, maybe like the Eternal Crusader, if they ever did that. That'd be so awesome to do. Oh, well, saying that, I, I could probably have the Phalanx. Well, did, have they ever done the Phalanx as... um? Um, um, Battlefleet Gothic. I don't. I don't know. I'm sure there's Battlefleet Gothic guys in chat who'll um, who'll um, help me out and point me in the right direction. All right, Chaprudios, that is me done for another video. There we go. Um, that is well. I won't say it's a hype video. That's a small little. Um, look into my mind. Um, of course, I'll be doing more videos closer to the date. Hopefully, I will get more leaks closer to the date so we can start discussing and really go down the rabbit hole, let's say, because we're, we're just at the top of it at the moment. We're just peeking our head down. Hello, is anyone in? And, you know, before we know it, we're, we're going to be like Alice in Wonderland going down with an umbrella, um, sipping tea with a Primark or some weird stuff like that. Right, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching, as always. I'll see you all very, very soon. Leave your thoughts, feedback, predictions, everything like that in the comment section down below, and we'll have a nice little chat about it down there. See you now, and bye-bye!